Hey dudes, what's up? I know it's been a really, really long time. Um, okay, this is not gonna be a serious video, but it's gonna be a little bit more serious than the average, like, my favorite things about me or how I style my shoes. It's gonna be a little bit more intense, let's say. I have a list, if I look down, I have a list, that's why. So, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I haven't uploaded something in six months. Which is bad. <laughs> it's bad, but at the same time, I would leave for like three months, make a video, and then leave again, and then make a video, and then leave again, but then at some point I just left, I was done with it. Even now I might regret this, I don't know. Let's just dive in. So I wanted to talk about why I've left YouTube and like this channel kind of, I like unlisted everything, private, unlisted, I don't even know the right word for it, and I got rid of the banners, I got rid of the profile picture, like I wanted it to disappear off the face of the earth, I was over it, I didn't care for it anymore, and I'm just going to go through like a timeline a little bit and why I left and everything. So when I first started making the videos, I think I was like in grade 10, so it was like 14. 15 years old. I just wanted something to put out creativity and positivity and stuff like that. Um, I was okay. I was just kind of in a rough place, I'd say, at that particular moment uh, when I started the YouTube channel. Um, and I feel like after doing that, I quickly placed myself in a creative box, is what I would call it. So I pretty much revolved my channel around peers and what they were doing and the style that they were doing and the music they were doing like I I like that music but after a while like that ukulele music I can't anymore with that ukulele music it was nice in the beginning and sometimes I actually really did genuinely like it but after a while I was like uh, I don't know especially like the year like when I was getting older I was kind of over it and I didn't really like it but I didn't want to change anything so that when you make something like this you want to have some sort of success. When you put something out in the world, you want some kind of, like, for someone to notice it almost. You want people to notice it, like you put in work. Like I remember I had iMovie, like I just got Final Cut Pro, which again, might regret, who knows. Um, but I had iMovie and I would edit for like seven hours for a video that was two minutes long because I wanted to be the best so I would like import photos to make it look like a, like it was crazy like those intros I would have to individually put in <laughs> you can tell sometimes because they weren't straight like I would make a picture and put like one letter and then make a picture and put the two letters and then three letters like it was intense like those intros took like an hour alone which sounds crazy but I'm not good at editing. I don't know what I'm doing. At some point, I think I got a lot better with iMovie, but still, like, I'm not, I'm not that good. Especially, like, I'm not good with computers in general. <laughs> so it was hard for me. I wanted to learn. I wanted to make it look as professional as possible. So when you spend so many hours doing something, and I didn't really care for the views, to be quite honest, or the subscribers. At some point, I really did. Like, I saw people that were on there for like way less time than I was, and they had like a lot like 3,000 subscribers 10,000 subscribers and I was kind of confused like I've been on here for like two years and I've been working my butt off and I am not getting the same reaction like is it my fault am I boring and then you have all those like you have all those moments of like not disliking yourself I mean like I'm not I'm not gonna let YouTube sway my opinion of myself, but at the same time, like, why is another girl that maybe not, or boy, or whatever, like, not doing something as original as I am, not that any of my stuff was original, like I said, I was following peers, like, to be quite honest, I was following peers, and I wanted to do things that were creative, like, I had some pretty good ideas, I think, at least, that were so creative, but I'm like, I can't do this because no one's gonna care, like, no one's gonna watch this if, if I do something special, and different like no one's gonna care no one's gonna watch it not that I got a lot of views in the first place but whatever again it was more that like voice in the back of my head saying you need to follow this you know this is successful so you do this was not successful for me didn't work 
And then because it was not working the way I wanted it, like unless you've done anything like this, like if you started, if you tried starting a YouTube channel or if you tried starting like an Instagram page or like anything, like a Twitter, like a meme page, whatever, then I don't feel like you might not know how this feels. Like putting in so much effort for something and then getting no comments, nothing. Like I would ask multiple videos, I ask people to ask me questions um, for a Q&A or like literally for a q and I needed like three questions tops and no one would ask anything so I had to like it was like pulling teeth to just ask for a comment which I know this sounds so like it's not an issue like relax but I feel like it was a constant kind of rejection um, which wasn't really good for me at that time like getting that constant rejection 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 and like like I said working on something so hard and getting uh, 30 views and then if it was a little bit strained from the pack and then if you did like uh, OTD it would get like 120 views which it's fine and then at some point it became a chore like I remember like I think 2015 like 2016 ma the majority of 2016 that's when I started leaving and like having like space in between my videos that's when it was a chore like I didn't have any creative ideas like I had nothing I was like okay whatever like I remember I think I put up a couple of 30 second videos just to put up a video and then also the schedule, the scheduling stressed me out. Oh, there's a bird on my window. Oh, oh I left. Anyways, so the scheduling was so, like, not problematic. Like, sometimes it was fine, it was good, but the majority of time, because I also had Saturday school. It was like a Greek school, like a Greek credit school that I would go to because I would get an extra university credit and stuff like that. Um, so I think uploading on Saturdays meant that I couldn't use a weekend to... To record, I had to record during the week, and I think grade 11 is when I started. I started stopping. First semester I had math. Second semester I had grade 12 math, which was not a regret. I love taking grade 12 math. That's like I hated math, but taking grade 12 math was way better than taking in grade 12 because grade 12 was a pretty easy, smooth sailing year. Like it went very well. I got the marks that I wanted and higher. Like I'm very, very pleased with that. But I had so much work last year that I didn't have time to record something. Just not recording and not uploading, it was just the worst feeling for me. As if I had like a hundred, like I didn't have fans or an audience to be quite honest and I still don't. Uh, which is fine. At this point, I'm doing this for myself. And I just want a community that I can talk to somebody. And I think that's the biggest thing. I just want a community so I can talk to somebody. So at some point, it became a chore, which was the worst feeling ever. As someone that's creative, making something a chore that is supposed to be like a creative like output and you're supposed to do it for fun was the worst thing. So I wasn't having fun. And then at some point, like I said before, it wasn't my best video. It's like a 30 second video is not a good video unless it's like amazing 30 second footage, which mine wasn't. Like, I'm going to be honest. It wasn't the best, and I had some videos that, again, and I think it's kind of going down to my editing skills, like the camera that I use isn't the best, it's a point and shoot, like I can't even see if I'm in frame right now, I'm just guessing, I don't know, and like, but I'm not going to blame that stuff because I've seen people do amazing stuff with less things like this, um, but I don't know, it just, it wasn't fun, I wasn't doing my best, and I think... I wanted so much more for it and it just wasn't getting there and like I would religiously watch like the view count and be like hey is there an audience now is there an audience now is there an audience now like it wasn't it wasn't healthy it wasn't good so the future for this channel I'm gonna do what I want to do I want to treat this channel like a diary almost I look back on videos from two years ago and I see and I watch them and they make me happy I'm like wow that's what I looked like when I was that age and that's what I did and that's how I dressed but I want this to be a diary and I want to have fun with it and I want to be creative with it like I'm not I will make occasionally videos like my favorites because I want it to be genuine though like if I talk about July favorites it's not gonna be I don't know like so scripted and like I want it to be more realistic, more me, like a lot of people I feel like that know me in real life and watch my videos, which is the majority of my friends watch these videos to be quite honest. Um, they never said anything, but I feel like you could tell like 
that person on there like sometimes like I like Krissa would come through but it was almost like a robot like I would sit there and talk blah 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 and then that was it and then like I don't know I feel like I was again in that creative box of being a certain kind of YouTuber which I'm not even gonna call myself a YouTuber yeah I would I put myself in that box of being you have to be cute and you have to be this and you can't swear and you can't do this and you can't do that and blah 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 like I put myself in such a terrible box of restricting myself and doing this and like even the kinds of videos like I talked about before like you could only do this specific kind of videos don't try and be creative don't do this don't do that like I, like I sew I paint I do all this stuff I want to show you but I was like no don't show them anything also I want to make more vlogs I feel like lately I've been watching a lot of sit down videos where people just kind of just exactly what I'm doing now ramble and talk and I've been watching some amazing vlogs and it doesn't have to be like every day vlogs if I go and do something more significant more fun like I want to take you with me it's like a diary entry so I want to look back on that day and say wow I did have fun well that was amazing but then at the same exact time I don't like vlogging out in public because I'm scared but that's another thing like I want to vlog it though like I can be pointing like POV like pointing what I look at I don't know I'll figure it out but I do want to do more vlog I do want to do more creative stuff and maybe just not on a schedule because I feel like that really stressed me out. I just don't want to be talking to a wall anymore. You know, that's a lot to ask. I know no one's going to comment on this, which is fine. Like, it's totally fine. I don't really mind at this point. Also, uh, in September, I'm going to be um, going to university in Toronto. So maybe I have more opportunities to vlog that kind of stuff that I was talking about. More opportunities to more creative stuff to bring you guys with me I just want I really wanted to make this video and I was excited to make it yesterday um, and just sit down and talk about everything and go through everything and just let you guys know um, it's difficult to do this to be honest and you're very critical with yourself and you don't take much about like you don't take much from yourself um, it's either this or this and that's it, nothing else. You can't be lower than that standard. At least that's how I am. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Okay, that's all. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you next week.